hello, hello. Sorry, just getting prepped there for a few minutes, but welcome tonight. It is Tuesday, November 11th. No, <laughs> November 9th, 2021. We're going to play some Pokemon Green tonight. Make sure we're live elsewhere here. Got everything posted. All right, playing some Pokemon Green version. Gonna dive right in. We started uh, exploring Mount Moon last night. We're up to a Pokedex of 12, and nearly on our fourth hour of our playthrough. And to remind ourselves of the team, we got Biazel Bufo, the Bulbasaur, Ratatak, the Ratata. We got a female Nidoran called a Mommy. We've got Shrike, the Spiro, and then. Pidge the Pidgey, and Ochotoni the Pikachu. I think we're going to keep that team probably through the rest of Mount Moon, just because they're a pretty good level. We also have in our box, who was it? Oh, Papilio was up to level 10, the Butterfree. But we will leave them for now. And let's go back into Mount Moon. Just as a reminder, we're playing a uh, ROM hack, a fan translation. This is actually the, the game that initially came out as... Oh, got a Paris encounter. But this was the first game that came out, so these are the first sprites of these Pokemon. This just is the version that originally only came out in Japanese. And once it was translated into English, they had updated sprites and such as well. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave, just to paralyze. It's gonna scratch us anyways, that's alright. Hmm. What do we want to hit this Paris with if we don't want it to die? Might switch a mommy out. scratch. I still don't know which is more powerful. These are things I could look up and just haven't, but that's alright. Looks like scratch should be a good one to just chip away at the health a little. Probably just do a Pokeball right now. Oh, very close. Okay, just don't crit. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. We've only run into Zubats up here. This is the first Paris. Wasted one Pokeball. I hope this one... Nice. This one's good. Paris was caught. Alright. What do we got here? One foot high, 12 pounds. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms called tuchu, Tochu Kaso. The mushrooms grow with the bug host. Interesting. We do want to give it a nickname. Let's pop over to Opera and just quickly grab Paris's origin take a look here together make sure that I hide the Game Boy briefly all right so Paris the fungus on Paris is identified as Tochukaso which must just be a fictional one an endo Paris parasitoid that replaces the host tissue and can affect the behavior of its insect host. The base insect appears to be a cicada nymph. In concept, it could be inspired by ants that are infected with mushroom spores that take control of the host ant's brain and sprout from its head or back. Might have seen that on a planet Earth or something. It may also draw inspiration from Massospora, a genus of fungi which includes species that specifically infect cicadas. Alright, so I'd actually read this in advance just thinking I might get a Paris today. 
I think Spora is the name I want to use, just to harken back to this Massospora. The name origin, Paris, is a shortening of parasite, referring to the parasitic mushroom growing on its back. All right, let's do it. So, Spora is our name today. Oh, there we go. Spora the Explorer. <laughs> All right, Spora it is. And also, we've got, just to give you a peek, let's go into the box for now, but I do have its sprite over here. Um, Yeah, here's Spora. Spora the Paris. Gonna just sit in our PC for a bit. But eventually eventually we will come back for it. There we are. Alright, I promise I'm not gonna fuss too much with Oh hey PK Coffee. Hello, hello. Let's get that. There we go. Promise I'm not gonna fuss with paint quite as much tonight. Probably gonna get another several Zubat encounters though. How you doing, PK Coffee? I hope you're having a good evening. Good to see you as always. Maybe it's bath time again. Maybe you're just chilling. Oh, and Jordan Merg! My wife, who I won't be using the word wifey to describe again, I promise. That was weird. <laughs> Thanks, PK Coffee. Alright, Osha Tony leveled up to 12. Oh, an emoji that actually worked this time, Jordan. <laughs> Is that like an ogre? I don't even. Looks like some sort of ogre. Old man leans in to view emoji on Twitch. Goodness. All right, we're gonna go down this ladder. Finally going down the ladder, because we finished everything on the top floor. And another Paris. I was gonna say, I think there's fewer Zubats as you go further down. And stronger Parises. This is level 10. I think the one we put in the box is level six, but that's all right. is definitely not the best word. It's one to be used sparingly for basically anybody, and will always feel weird. <laughs> All right, let's let's swap Pidge out front. Some sort of unicorn. No, I don't know what that is, but I love it. It's got a rainbow. <laughs> what is it, PK Coffee? Is that Stitch? It looks like uh, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Uh, with some sunglasses and a rainbow. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Let's fight Team Rocket. They're up to no good down here. Alright, some gusts on the sand true. Not great. Gonna get sand attacked. Eventually probably have to swap out once we can't hit the sand true anymore. I'm 
gonna start missing more and more. Might need to swap out. Hmm. There we go, Pidgey. Alright, let's swap. Let's put a mommy out. Pitch leveled up to level 12. Not bad. And mommy grew up to level 12 as well. Might actually swap to... Actually, let's leave a mommy out for now. Let's see how well we can do. Just scratching this ratata. Well, I hope everyone's having a good night uh, and a good day. If you're watching this the day after on YouTube or the past broadcasts on Twitch. Please follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. I think I need 500 total to be able to save them for like up to 60 days. There are only 14 days that those past broadcasts will be there. But we're at, I think, 7 followers, so we're making progress. Let's swap to... Let's go with uh, Biazel Bufo. What was I thinking? Oh, very bad. Very bad. To be honest, I did not see what was coming out before I swapped. I was just like, Bezel Bufo strong. No, no. We will have Ocho Tony give a good old shock to Zubat here and be done with it. Okay, two shocks. Darn it all. <laughs> His associates. Oh my. Alright, let's put Shrike out front. And. Oh. A couple more encounters. Maybe head back out and get healed up. I think there's a few other battles in this. Uh... It's not a basement when it's a cave, but this lower level. Nice crit, Shrike. ever. <laughs> Maybe eventually, who knows. I feel like those stat boosting items sit in the backpack when I typically play through these games. And then maybe near the end I'll be like, oh yeah, I could use one of those maybe. Alright, let's heal up and we will dive back into Mount Moon for a few more battles. I'm 
might actually be able to make it through to the other side today. Shrike's doing well out front, actually. We'll leave, we'll leave him there. Eventually we will maybe encounter a Geodude. I've got one of those prepped on deck. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that! Just in time. Oh, I love this sprite. This is before Geodude had its eyes. Alright. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll start pecking, but it's gonna take a few. Oh, I hear the cats playing outside my door, running around. I actually put <laughs> my Twitch stream on for them, so hopefully they're not freaking out from that. It's on mute. Hopefully they don't get too confused seeing my face on a TV and hearing my voice from a different room. They really should bring back this look for Geodude. It's so good. It's just, yeah. He's like a party rock dude. The Alolan version of Geodude should have had his eyes closed like that. 3D 4K Geodude. Hey Chaz, how's it going? Good to see ya. I don't know, I feel weird, I'm never sure if I should like dox people and use their first names or is it Cheese Zone? Is that how you you would pronounce your uh, your username, Chaz? And should I not use your first name? And like PK Coffee, I could use your first name. These are decisions, I guess. Uh, maybe people don't typically try to figure out how to how to make. It's good to have friends here. I'm glad that you're all here. All right, this Geo dude we caught. It makes round its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them in snowball fights. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Some people use geodudes in snowball fights. You shouldn't you shouldn't throw rocks in a snowball fight, y'all. Y'all. Well shoot, we've got four people four no, this is three people. The fourth is myself, but three people in chat. I think I need five at some point to like check off another tick on Twitch's to do. Oh, there's more! There's a fourth! Jman299. How's it going? Alright, let's get a name for this Geodude. Let me show you Geodude's origin, which is maybe less exciting. And some of these others. Alright, swap over to my web browser here. Geodude is based on a living rock or boulder. We don't care about the Alolan one for now. Oops, click and Thunder Egg. Let's stay there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Head on back. Okay, name origin. Geodude may be a combination of the prefix geo and Greek for earth and dude, a slang word for a male. It may also be from geode, a usually hollow volcanic rock with crystal inside and dude. I'm going with geode. I think that's just a pretty solid name. <laughs> Unless anyone else has any suggestions for this geodude's name. There are also two cats in the chat. <laughs> All right. I'm going with Geode, unless someone wants to uh, suggest another name, an alternative here. I'll give a few moments just in case someone wants to brainstorm something and hates the name Geode. Rockhead. I like Rockhead. <laughs> it's just as good as Geode. It's better than Geode. Okay. I'm going to do it. We're going to take this back. Uh, oops, not that button. How do I... There we go. Alright. Uh, where are 
are the letters? There they are. Rock. Head. Beautiful. Great suggestion. Suggestion, J-Man299. Where did my other chat window go? It's not showing up there. Just paused briefly. There we go. Now you can see that suggestion. Viewers? Alright, gotta head back out. Keep fighting things. We need to heal up here. Dive back down. Oh, my cousin Jordan. I'm like, who's J-Man? I'll have to find out later. I'm glad to see you, cousin Jordan. My wife Jordan, my cousin Jordan. Everyone's here. Let's just run. I don't have time for these Zubats. Get out of this cave. There we go. Well, I'm glad you're all here. Having a mellow evening with me. Getting ready for sleep time. I actually started a little earlier today, which was probably nice. Imagine most people are like, actually trying to go to sleep around now-ish. But I usually stay up until midnight, so I've been enjoying doing this for the last bit of my day. Do we want to swap anybody? Yeah, we'll keep Shrike out front. Alright, we went down that ladder. There's two other ladders in here, I think. Yeah, I need to jump back into Animal Crossing too, Jordan. I uh, I just downloaded the DLC and I haven't actually played it yet. I've been kind of waiting to maybe try to stream it. I might just jump in and play it myself personally one of these mornings, but it might be a really nice game to just stream for hours. TM number one. What is TM one? Mega Punch. Hmm. Ochotoni could learn Mega Punch. Don't think I will learn it for now. Have to game plan those. They have updated so much, even without the DLC. Yes. I need to check out all of that stuff. Yeah, I probably would take an hour before I even touch the DLC stuff, because there's so many other updated things. I still haven't messed around with some of the stuff they introduced like last summer. Like, I think I might have messed around with fireworks once. And swimming? I forgot they added swimming. More! Yeah. They've updated so much more. Oh! Shrike got confused and hurt himself in his confusion. Not great, not great. Let's peck Zubat instead, Shrike. Please? Please? Please. Oh no. Ooh. And Leech Life gonna take the last HP. attack. Let's finish off this Zubat. I'm fortunate that we lost Shrike. Won't get any HP or uh, XP, any experience from the battle we're going to have here in a moment. Alright, Rat Attack, you're up front. Go ahead and stay up front. Leveled up to level 12 in the last battle, though. So we're probably a at a pretty good level, yeah. Hmm. Nice critical hit. An unfortunate confusion. Should we try another? 
Let's try one more. Mm. I thought that was only supposed to be like a 30% chance. Maybe it's like 50 in this first game. Confusion wore off quick though, and let's see if the quick attack's enough. Not quite. Just a little more. Well, hey, if anyone else has any other name suggestions for me to write down for their, you know, if you want to name some Pokemon after a pet of yours or something, um, I've already got Johnny uh, PK Coffee's pets down. We're going to name a Growlithe after Maple, I think, and then, oh yeah, Electrike for Hazel, which, yeah. I looked up uh, other dog Pokemon, apparently foxes or canines, technically, so the um, alternative would be a, a Ninetales, a Vulpix, technically a canine. Not really a dog, though. Come on, Gus that Ekans, that big-mouthed Ekans. Look at that Ekans. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't use this naming convention for any other Pokemon ever. Just the English word for what it is backwards. I did it once. Oh shoot. Alright, get out of here, Ekans. Get out of here, Rocket. So, you are good. Give me your money! Let's put... Mommy out front. Anything else in this room? Not really. Is this something? Hey! Sometimes you just gotta check those weird things. Alright, back upstairs. Let's go heal again. I know, too many heals. You know, not too many heals. We're not in a rush. Gotta remind ourselves we're just taking it easy. Got plenty of time. We're making good, good use of it. Just hanging out with our Pokemon. Hanging out with our friends. Thank you all again for being here and just chilling with me as we go through Mount Moon. Mommy has been confused as well, so if we're not careful, we might end up fainting a mommy as well. Yeah, we've got two cats, Lucy and Maddie. I think I was joking at one point that they would be perfect for Mew and Mewtwo. But... Maybe one of the uh, cats could be a Meowth. That could be good. Neither of them are that Meowth-like, though. I will say. So if anyone else wants to name... Meowth after one of their cats or something. It's open. It's available. All right, a mommy. Good job. Oof. We might have someone else evolve today too. I don't know what level a mommy will evolve at, but I think Biazel Bufo isn't too far off at level 15. Lucy is pretty meowthy. Very verbal, very vocal. Lucy does love to speak. And has a lot of attitude.
Let's switch into Ocho Tony. Should have really been just walking around here with Pikachu out front. Just zapping everything. for a water break. Oh, mute myself. Alright, heading back in. There's one more ladder to check. I think it's the last ladder. Probably be more than one battle after it, though. That's all right. We can make it. Let's see if we can't run. And let's go ahead and put Ochotoni out front, because that will make those battles much quicker. else is in here. I think maybe there's... I guess there's some Clefairy around. Otherwise, I think we've gotten everything else that's in these caves. Is the zoo bat? Thank you, Ochotoni. So, out of my current Pokemon, do you all have any favorite names that I've used so far out of this current team? I mean, Pidge is pretty lackluster; doesn't really have much going for it. Rat Attack is not a whole lot better, but I'm pretty proud of the other ones. Even though I used their origins for inspiration, that's pretty good. Oh, already did that battle. Alright. Last ladder here. old Bufo's name gets stuck in your head all the time. That is very good. I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> it's pretty good. Ooh, a Geodude. That is a good one. Let's put him out right now. Take care of this Geodude for us. Let's put a Leech Seed out. Get some healing. We're gonna get tackled again immediately. And start vine whipping. Start and stop. Only needed one. Alright. So, Cousin Jordan, do you think I should start maybe a brand new island to dive into some of this new update? Or is it worth just sticking with my original island? I guess my villagers probably won't 
give me too hard of a time. I hear they kind of go easy on you, <laughs> at least compared to some of the old games. I think someone told me that it's actually like some of the new update stuff is behind quite a few bells, like you need bells or miles to unlock it, so it might be worth not restarting. But part of me wants to just get a brand new island. Since there is a trainer battle coming up, I'm going to swap briefly to Shrike. Just to help him get a few more. Don't do it! A lot of people thought that, but you have to have certain things done for the new stuff to happen. Good to know. Okay, I'll just stick with my original island then. We could to... Uh, remind myself of what's there. I think one of the things that stopped me was I kept running out of room in my house and I don't have to sell stuff all the time. I'm pretty sure that's been expanded, so that alone is exciting to me. Level 16 Raticate, less exciting to me. I mean, I'm tempted to growl just to reduce how much damage it can do to us. Or swap immediately into Biesel Bufo and start leech seeding. Let's see what Peck does. Cool, 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 cool. That tackle did a lot. And we're gonna swap out immediately, even though that's gonna be pretty risky. Not a great start. Let's go with Ochotoni, see if we can maybe paralyze. Might be worth trying. Hyperfang. Just gone. Just just a goner, Ochotoni. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm tempted to leech seed, but I actually think we need to just vine whip while we're here. Mm. Glad that they're doing a tail whip. I don't have a Dragonite yet. Sorry, Johnny. The last 10 minutes I have... Uh, well, just fought a bunch more Zubats, some Geodudes. Probably the first trainer battle I've done in about that long. Maybe the second or third. We're in the last of the three ladders down, so... We're nearing the end of... I think the end of Mount Moon. Kind of. And Raticate missed the Hyper Fang, which is fantastic. Classic cave. Shrike grew to level 12. But yeah, lots of one battle at a time, go back out to heal, <laughs> one more battle at a time. Biesel Bufo's up to level 16. Is that an evolution? It is. Boy. Beautiful flower starting to bud. Biesel Bufo evolved into Ivysaur. Very cute. Um, immediately gonna quickly grab the sprite and update that one. Be right back with ya. I said I wouldn't fuss with this too much, so let's try to do this quick. Alright, bring this down a bit. Alright, I can fuss with it more later if I need to. That'll fit. Alright, 
Let us continue. Oh, and let's check out the Pokédex for Ivysaur. Three feet high now, 29 pounds. There is a plant bulb on its back. When it absorbs nutrients, the bulb is said to blossom. He's a very cute sprite for that one. I dig it. Team's a little beat up. Probably worth trying to go back out to heal again. <laughs> Frustrating we don't have Ochotoni to help lead the way. Let's put Pidge out front. Pokemon did live here long before people came. Amelia! Oh. Oh, why is this chat window not updating? There we go. Tell Amelia I say hi as well. It's very nice. Got so many people listening tonight. That's very cool. Well, Pidgey learned quick attack, so let's give that a shot. Right. <laughs> you don't have to tell her. I can tell her. Hi, Amelia! <laughs> Lol. Amelia, you should register a Twitch account. Even if it's just to click a follow button. And then never log in again. It's allowed. Zubats, and let's get some heals. Oh, and unplug the laptop. Thank goodness these things have batteries, huh? <laughs> Could you imagine if you were just doing this from a desktop PC and you just unplug it midstream? Oof. Would not be great. Let's save, just to like, do it. Just in case, you know? What if my computer just failed immediately? You know? Don't want that to happen. Oh! Amelia's uh, traveling scene, right? Tell her, well, don't tell her, but I hope you have safe travels and a good time. And I should stop doxing people in their itineraries. <laughs> Philadelphia. Oh man. What time is the flight? You shouldn't tell me that. Why am I trying to... Just in the morning. It's just early morning, I'm sure. Don't want to narrow down what flight and all that jazz. Goodness. I'm probably way too paranoid about those sorts of things. Jerry Conk! Is that Amelia or someone else new? Jerry Conka. Too paranoid, huh? Amelia! Alright, well now, everybody chat! Ooh! I think if we get like five people chatting simultaneously, I might have already gotten it, but it's like one of four conditions to get affiliate or partner status, whatever it is. So thank you all for being here and for chatting. And for keeping me company. It's been a nice evening. Woo 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 woo! Oh my gosh, so many Pokemon emojis. That's really cool. 
That's really cool. Alright, I actually healed when I went in there, right? <laughs> I didn't just step inside and black out briefly, right? Nah, we're healed up. Phew. Looking good. Let's swap. I'm glad that you are sleepy, Jordan. Sorry to wake you up and demand that you chat. <laughs> You don't have to keep chatting. Thank you so much. You can sleep. I'll run you off to slumberland. Slumberland. Jesus. Get out of here. Now I'm trying to shock a Geo dude. Goodness, goodness. Let's just run from Geo dude. No, I've not caught a Clefairy yet. I think they're pretty rare at this top level. Good night, Jordan. Love you too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the chance at finding Clefairy increases on the bottom level. I had a couple ideas for a name if I do find one. Um, Cause I named, I named the uh, Jigglypuff that we caught Bowie, after David Bowie, I was thinking that Clefairy could be Ziggy, like Ziggy Stardust, or I could even name it like Ziggy Star or something. I think there's enough room. I think it's ten letters. Or I could name it Aria. Aria is like a type of song, right? Good night, Cousin Jordan. Thanks for being here. Stopping by and saying hi. Sleep well. Oh my gosh, Ziggy is your sister's cat's name. Then Ziggy it is. We're going to use Ziggy when we get a Clefairy. I was going to say if we're going to get a Clefairy. We'll make it happen. It's going to be on this bottom level any moment now. We'll keep Ultra Tony out front. It's a good name for a cat, too. found a Pikachu in that forest. My word. It'd be a lot rougher without. Or at least a little slower. I didn't miss anything else. I feel like I'm now getting towards the end. I'm like worried I missed something. But I don't think I did. I mean maybe like a hidden item. I don't know. Alright, let's see a Clefairy. Ooh. Another battle. Let's put Shrike out front. I feel like Shrike is pretty strong. Oh, that was weird. I immediately got a battle encounter even though I hadn't moved. Just exiting the the menu. I didn't know that was possible. That was weird, right? That was weird. I mean, probably not like a glitch weird, just... I don't think that can happen in newer games. Okay, and then I turned a frame to the right after the encounter. So it's like, it registered that I was turning to the right, gave me the encounter, 
just in that turn. And then once the battle was done, actually showed it happen. It was funky. Ooh, telling me Team Rocket's plan to steal some fossils and revive them for cash. What a crazy world, this Pokemon world, huh? That they just, I mean, there's a lot of crazy things in it, but that they revive fossils just like that and that everyone's super chill about it. It's like not surprising. Frame perfect. Yeah, it's weird, I don't know. See how far we can get with Peck. It's a strong Peck Shrike. Keep it up. Didn't quite get it in three. It's a shame, but that's alright. About to use a Zubat. Let's swap to Ochotoni shock it out of the sky. I guess in the anime they probably like make a big deal out of it every single time they find a fossil and revive it. And maybe they kind of do in the games, but I don't know how they could pretend that this is a surprising occurrence when it happens in every region. Erg, now I'm mad. Alright, Rocket. <laughs> you made me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. What does that entail? I won't get their emails anymore. <laughs> That's all that means to me. Those Clefairies. Oof. Confusion. It's no good. No good. Rat attack, though, has been confused for like one turn every time. They are confused. Pretty good. Not too shabby. Well, it feels like we're very, very close to the last, like, one or two battles in here. Oh my goodness. If I can get through this doorway. There's another Paris. It's not what we're looking for, though. Yeah, I caught one earlier today, actually. Um, what did I name it? Oh, Spora. I named it Spora after the uh, type of uh, parasitic fungus that infect cicadas, specifically. I think the one I caught, though, was only level 6, so maybe it would have been nice to wait until those level 10 ones showed up. But yeah, Paris is super cute too. I love seeing all of these like old sprites that I I didn't ever see. Or like would have only ever seen on Bulbapedia, right? Alright, let's put Ocho Tony back out front. Also, there's a moonstone here. Alright. This rocket wants both these fossils. 
super nerd. Oh. Not part of Team Rocket? Look at that Grimer! That's very good. Very good! Oh, good question! Which fossil am I gonna choose? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I had not thought of this. Hazel should be Grimer instead. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, Hazel is gonna be Grimer. I love that. Oh man. Oh no, she puked on your bed. No, Grimer. That's no good. Oh, poor Bubba. Is she doing okay though overall? Just like a normal dog puke? Dog's puke, right? Voltorb's coming out. Let's put Piezel Bufo out front. Ooh, that Voltorb's looking good too. Look at that brow. Strong brow. Glad she seems normal otherwise. But yeah, what what do y'all think? What do you two think I should, or any any of y'all think I should um, get as far as the fossil goes? The Helix one. Yeah. I mean... Because... Shares water type, right? It's like water rock. That's pretty good typing versus Kabuto's just rock. Rock and ground, maybe? Just rock. They are rad. They are. Yeah, I think when I was younger, I always thought, like, Kabutops was way cooler, like as far as the, just the look, but yeah, I'm torn. I also don't know what it just said was coming out next. Let's put a mommy out. Oh, a coughing. Okay, good call. I don't think a mommy can get poisoned. Oh, no double typing in. Wait, ah... Is there no double typing? I think there's double typing though still, right? I thought Gen 1 still, because I'm pretty sure Bulbasaur is both grass and poison. Is that just not a thing yet in these games? Maybe I'm crazy. Pardon the ear itch. I'm not actually sure now. Now that you say that, that could be right that this, like double typing didn't come till Gen 2. I think, I think there is double. I'll, I think I can check in the Pokédex here in a moment. Though there's plenty of types that like just didn't exist, so there's some that didn't have double. Like Magnemite's only going to be electric here. Right the birds are normal flying they must just do yeah there must be dual types for sure and these first gen games are the ones that have some like uh, unused type there's like a, a bird type or something in the code I think I remember reading Is flying type the one that like still there's no Pokemon with just one primary type of flying? Or did they find I think maybe there's finally like one just flying type Pokemon. Yeah, all the magnets are electric only, that's right. Steel and Dark come Gen 2. I'm excited to maybe just keep playing Pokemon games like into Gen 2 and so on and so forth on this channel. Alright. 
We'll each take one, no being greedy. Oh, so because I won the battle, I get to take one. I might actually stop it here. This might be a good place to just stop so I can kind of think on which one I actually want to take. Um, I'm leaning towards the Helix, though. I do like Omastar Omanite. I should play Crystal version after this, because that is such a good Gen 2 game. Because those are the ones that finally started. I think those are the first with the animated sprites that, like, do a little dance as they come out of their Pokeball. But yeah, I might, I might call it here. Uh, we've been live for about an hour feels like a good time for me to just kind of think over which fossil to get. I also don't know if there's another battle like right after I choose this fossil with Team Rocket or something. I think that sounds familiar and I don't really want to dive into that right now. So yeah, thank you all for being here. Good night, everybody. It was a lovely evening. Um, I had a lovely time just chilling with everybody. And, and yeah... Thanks for thanks for joining and chatting. Um, and for everybody that's watching after the fact, please, uh, I won't choose the wrong one. I will I will choose the Helix Fossil. I'll do it. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until next time. Until tomorrow. I'll I'll do this again tomorrow. Maybe a little earlier as well. I might start trying to start around ten ish, ten thirty ish. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining, and to everyone watching after the fact, please like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, if you're on Twitch, please follow me there, and uh, before long we'll be able to watch these uh, past broadcasts for more than 14 days. I think it'll go up to 60 days once we hit some hundred, I think maybe 500 followers. So it'll, it'll be a moment, but uh, glad that the ball is starting to roll. And uh, thank you all for being here. Anyways, good night, good morning, good whatever time, and uh, I love you all. Bye-bye.